attacked with yogurt and arrested the dangers of not wearing hijab in Iran. A shocking incident in Iran has caught the attention of the world as a man threw a tub of yogurt at a mother and daughter for not wearing hijabs. The disturbing incident caught on camera quickly went viral on social media, uh, sparking outrage and concern about how citizens enforce mandatory hijab laws upon each other in the country. Despite being the victims of an assault, the mother and daughter were arrested by authorities for not following the country's strict dress code, while the man who threw the tub was arrested by police. But the incident also highlighted the bravery of those who continue to protest against the mandatory hijab in Iran, while with many risking arrest arrest or assault from security forces in pro-government Iranians. While the Islamic Republic has not bowed to the pressure from protesters, the incident has sparked renewed outrage and calls for change. Authorities issued stern warnings and threats of punishment for those who do not follow the, country, the country's dress code. All right, so let's watch the video. Yeah, because this is so, this went this was huge on Persian was, social media recently. So I really want you yeah. to like dig into the stuff that we don't have access to in in English, Armin. I need your your analysis. Okay. Tell us what you know. All right, so guys, watch this. This video, this video, you guys, this has been a week. I think it's been a week now since this video has come out, and you have no idea how big of a bomb this was on Iranian news and social media. Like every goddamn second of this video has been micro-analyzed by so many people. This has become an event. There's like a pre-yogurt and post-yogurt now, like it's, it's on there, it's, 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 it's huge. <laughs> we now divide the world into two periods, pre and post-yogurt attack. Yes, yes, so what, let's watch this and this. Uh, for people who might not be seeing this, we should like pause and describe you describe what has happened. Okay, so let me go through it. So this is like a normal, um, you know, just a small store in Iran, and there's two women coming in. You can see uh, the mother and daughter. The mother is wearing a loose hijab, right, and the daughter is wearing a no hijab. Right. And obviously she's an adult and she's legally she's supposed to be wearing the hijab, but she's not like many other women who, in Iran who are just not wearing the hijab anymore. And the government is not enforcing it as much because there's just too many women in Iran that are not wearing hijab. So they are failing to enforce it. Also, they're afraid of enforcing the hijab because they're afraid of another mass uh, a mini situation happening and they can't go through that anymore. And that's why they are uh, holding back. So, yeah. So you see how casual it is. Like when I was in Iran, so a woman um, walking without a job would have been like, "What the hell?" And like people now are not even looking. It don't. It doesn't seem like a significant thing. <laughs> So you see this guy, right? You see this guy coming from behind. He's obviously this guy, right? So he must have seen them behind. down the block or something because he comes walking up to them. Yeah, and he's like walking with like a fast pace, you know. So he's like targeting this lady with that hijab, and she, you can see that she, she looks back, and obviously, like I think he must be saying something. So he's doing, he's like telling her to put the hijab on, right? And now the mother is looking back as well. The man is like, put the hijab on. This is like, like I'm, I'm reading the body language. He's talking to her as well, why are you not wearing the hijab? So you can see she touches the scarf, but she's like not putting it on her head. And the mother is talking back to him as well. I think she's like, I'm guessing that she's telling him to mind his own business. And now the man goes and grabs something from the corner of the store. What is he grabbing? What is he getting? It's a, yo it's a bucket of yogurt. And he's aiming it at this woman's, as the daughter's head. Okay, like, oh, 
it, and the mom too and the mom as well oh and here's the part here's the part where made this even go more viral because it wasn't just the attack it wasn't just the yogurt attack the store owner came out from behind his uh, stand and now he attacks the religious man who is attacking the woman so he's defending he's like he he got so angry he as soon as he saw it he moves right away and he attacks the religious man and here's an interesting thing in part there's another man that wants to go confront the religious man and the what his wife i'm assuming holds him back saying don't get involved you can see that <laughs> she is trying to stop him he's just, like no and but no he's insisting he is insisting to go get involved right and this is what a lot of people are liking because it's not just about women right you can see mm-hmm. the men so a lot of women are a lot of women in iran are celebrating these men who are who who didn't just stood by and let this happen right they went in and they started confronting the men right and look so that was it that was the video and this has gone viral but go on so why this is something that i don't understand from the outside is why do you think this incident had such a big impact like president ibrahim raisi came and addressed it nationally like he gave a talk and like referenced it right so that's huge but out I don't understand why this was so big when there have been people who were getting strangled but with their own hijabs by the morality police like in detention you know like Mm -hmm. is it because this was just caught on camera or why did this become such a national talking point that raisi even had to talk about it okay because this is um the people versus the people. I mean, I'm pretty sure this guy has a Basiji card, so the lines are blurry, right? Mm. But first of all, it was recorded, right? Second of all, it's less like a government enforcement kind of situation and more the whole religious mandate of Amr ibn Maruf and Nahas Bankar, right? So it's, and it also shows, it's also, it's a beginning of a new trend because the government is taking a step back, right? And now, because the government is taking a step back, the religious people in Iran are very angry, and they are angry with their government for why they're letting all these women walking around without hijab, and they're now getting involved more instead of the government. So, and now people are turning on people, right? So the 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 society has become very polarized now, right? Uh, And this is a reflection of that, and the side that is against these religious uh, nut jobs is showing that we are many like if we like we are supporting each other like this is so encouraging because so the regime has taken a step back and now these religious people step want to step in and do this job for you know instead of the government we the people on our side the, li- the people who are more liberal and want to be free the, their sh- this demonstrates how the people naturally are in support of each other and how they have each other's back and how they're the, how they're the few because because the narrative to us by the government has always been like it's just a few minority of people who are like this and the people who are loyal to the government and religious they are the many but when something like this happens first of all the failure of the government to enforce hijab laws demonstrates that we are actually many right and also the fact that they are you know strongly backing each other is like they're also supportive of each other and and it also demonstrates it's another thing it's um another thing is that it shows their desperation like a lot of people uh like this video because it shows their anger right because usually with the, those other videos it shows them at the position of strength and the people at the position of weakness but this video on their other hand is so beautiful to people because it shows their desperation and their weakness and how the ties are turning and how the people are taking over mm. that's what this video represents mm. as well mm. yeah okay that, that, that helps me that does that does that helps me understand this a lot thank you because i was like we were talking about this before the show and you're like do you find this surprising and i'm like no so I couldn't understand like why this became so significant because 
I know that people like this are out there. I know that people like this try to enforce these rules upon each other. And so, yeah, I was like, oh, why did this become so big? But yeah, that really helped me understand to it. Me, to I, me, this was surprising. To me, this was unique, okay? I've hmm. never seen anything like this before, right? To me, this is like the society has changed and it has changed so much that it's not re it's refusing to go back. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought maybe it's because I'm an American and like seeing videos a line of people like throwing food at each other in a fight is not that unusual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. yeah, someone is having a fight in a corner store. Sounds like a regular Tuesday. Like <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, it's like, like it's, it's it's a subtle a thing. Original. It's about. <laughs> I mean, okay, that's actually a good example. Like, if there was just an attack, you it wouldn't in the U.S. news, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, right? But imagine if it was about something to hot topic. Like, imagine if somebody in U.S. threw a bucket of yogurt on someone else's head because they were trans. Okay, now all of a sudden this would become major news because it's not just a rig. If this was a, mm. a fight not about hijab, this would not become a big news at all. If this was just somebody throwing yogurt at somebody just because they owed them money or something, obviously this wouldn't go viral like this, right? But yeah. this is something else. But to me, this was surprising. To me, this shows how normalized has this become and how you know society is like refusing to go back and so because these people like this okay he lived actually this is the explanation okay i grew up fearing people like this mm. these people were intimidating and they had the entire strength of the government behind them right and they went walked around as if they owned the place you know what i mean because and we again. were, we are, yeah, and we, other us, us non-religious people had to be like, oh, like, oh, look at this guy is a Basiji or he has a beard. Like, he's like, look at this. So he's like one of them. We have to be careful. We have to be, mind our manners, like the way we talk, right? And, and now for us to grow up in that environment and see him being intimidated by people that are on our side it's just like wow like they are the ones who are afraid now they are the ones who are intimidated and i actually have a video that shows that but even are more. they intimidated I, though because this guy well, like they ended up arresting the women they did arrest no, the guy said, but then Abraham Reese well. came out and i know but then the president came out and basically said yes you need to obey the law and he basically would like endorsed the you know, um, not Islamic, like, no, like but he also policing Yeah, but not like that. Like they're like a lot of religious people are throwing this guy under the bus. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're they're throwing him so much under the bus that they're now coming up with conspiracy theories that they are together, and this was the planned attack to make the regime and religious people look bad. They're like, I've seen, I've seen, yeah, pro government YouTube channels, right? I see like. They're like, oh, look, she looked back here. Like for this part. She looked, you see, she looked back. Oh, she looked back. They're looking eye to eye. So they must be quartering. They must be together because like, why would she look back? Right? I and I was like, that's so stupid. <laughs> and I was like, dude, she he came from this direction. She's looking in this direction. And also if they looked eye to eye, that doesn't mean they're together. And then also when he comes here, they're like, this is the day before Sizdebedar. This is uh, such a coincidence, right? Right, exactly when you guys need something, there's something like this happens, huh? You guys just need excuses. Like the timing they say is very They don't need uh, excuses because the IRGC was shooting at people on Seize the Beidar. Yeah. I mean, what are right. you talking about? And also they say, how is it possible that he picked up a yogurt? Why is the yogurt not in the fridge, right? And <laughs> people are like, dude, yeah. <laughs> They're like... Like, the, the, he's like, look, he picked up the yogurt. Why is the yogurt outside? Why is the yogurt not in this the fridge? This becomes a conversation thing, about, like, food safety standards. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're like, there's these stores have open-door fridges that they keep the yogurt in. That's the normal thing that they have in the stores. 
so he just like yeah so that's another so again they're coming up with so many conspiracy theories uh another video came <laughs> where, did, where did this yogurt come from huh? <laughs> <laughs> all right can Somebody i show you another called the health video? department yeah the uh, yesterday another video came out uh that is getting some attention on social media not as much as yeah, this yeah, one yeah yeah but but as somewhat um it's getting it's going a little bit viral um and to me this really shows this really shows how things are, are changing like the ties are changing should i just show the video or should i read my caption first I um caption. let's play the video and then you can basically explain what's in the caption as the video plays okay okay fine okay so this is in a park in the park in iran okay and you see this chadori woman and chadori means like you're wearing a type of hijab that shows that you're not just um yeah you're religious like you're going out of your way to do to wear the islamic attire right it's so probably she's obviously the, like the second most conservative form of hijab you'll find in iran yes yes okay so let's play this <laughs> So she's going around and telling people to wear their hijab properly. So again, this is like one of the people, hold on. So hold on. Is, this part is just pausing so that they, she could be identified. They they paused on her face so people go and identify her. Right? Oh, snap. So, so look at this. So here you can see her. So you see the arrow showing that this is her, right? This is her right here. Right. So let's go back to that. Uh -huh. You can see that just to make sure just to make sure you understand they put the, that they have these helpful marks. So that's her. Okay. So we go. So look, she she saw this woman oh no uh, with no hijab. It's not, no like she's like she's just like she just points to put a hijab on, okay? And that's it. But they're not having it. They're like, no, 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 no. This is not, you, you can't do that here, okay? That's all she did. That's all she did. I mean, she has been doing that to probably a couple other people. That's why she's recording. And now she's like, the woman who's recording just came out of the bushes and now she's going to confront her. She's like, how much are you getting? How much are you getting Sunday score? <laughs> like so like she's like how much are you how much are they paying you to do to do this? Huh? Uh, oh look, she grabbed her too. She she's trying to move away and she grabbed her. Look. Like oh. how much are you getting so that you could insult women like that? <gasps> right? Yeah. So <laughs> To your to your own kind, but she means like a woman. Like you're insulting your own kind, right? <laughs> like why are you why are you uh, get, getting into other people's business? And now she's not she's not done. She's chasing her. Oh my god! <laughs> like she she came from the other direction and she came to her again. <laughs> <laughs> she said she's running away. <laughs> she says, stop. She's like, somebody get her. <laughs> get stop her. <laughs> Look, she's running. She looks like a little this ninja. Is a <laughs> I can't, you know, I don't know, I can't explain how unbelievable this was. These people are now running away. It used to be the other way around. It used to be, if you don't wear proper hijab, you had to run away. Now the hijabi, like religious lady is running away. This is such a, I don't know, such a demonstration of how tides are turning. I don't even know how to explain how significant this is. I, I can't believe this is happening. I mean, I mean, there's no government. It's just people versus people. And the, it's the religious ones who are running away now. Mm, mm. Yeah. Yo, so. the way that she was in the bushes. <laughs> she was <laughs> in the bushes on profiling. She was... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the way she stepped out of the bushes, it was like, uh-uh. Oh, no. oh, bitch, you thought? 
oh i'm right oh i'm right here and then and then she comes around <laughs> the other way and it's like no i'm right here too <laughs> <laughs> and yeah anyways oh my goodness um I, I i don't know if i could i wish i could translate the persian because the way she describes her is so funny uh, but it doesn't make sense in English. <laughs> 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 uh, any comments you want to read in the live chat about all of this? Terrell is like saying it. that was like a Persian lioness waiting in the bushes and attacking and chasing down the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, this like, is what happened. Sitting in the bushes, lying in wait, and then she pounced. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. This is what happens when you Islamically you mandate people to take the the enforcement of laws in their own hand. This comes. This is in the Quran, and this has also been um, mentioned a couple of times by Khamenei himself to do for the people to do this, right? But now they're regretting it. Now they're like, okay, we should, you know, this is. It, it, it's getting really heated, right? And it seems like everything is about to explode because even the government is not going to enforce, it, it's going to go experiment back and forth with enforcing the hijab laws because it's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place right now, uh, the government, because if it does start enforcing the hijab laws, another something is going to happen. Something at some point is going to happen and it's going to be like Mahsa Amini all over again. And they have paid such a heavy price for that. They're like, we can't, we can't go through that again. There's no way we can go through that again. So, so they're like, okay, let's, let's, let's pull back. Right. But now it's getting even worse because by pulling back, they have the religious people. They're, they're like, wait, wait a second. Isn't this the Islamic Republic of Iran? What happened to the Islamic part of the Islamic Republic of Iran, right? Did we not give martyrs for this? Did we not have a revolution for this? We had a revolution so that this country becomes Islamic. And if we don't, if we, and we have laws and we're not enforcing the laws. So what is the point of these laws? And they're coming out and they're angry and they're turning into barandos. Did you know that? The people who are at extremely religious, they are promising that you think they're Barandas? We are the real Barandas people that you have to worry about if this government is not Islamic. So they're saying like... For those who don't know, like, Barandas means overthrow. Yes. So they're saying like, you're worried about these non-religious people wanting to overthrow the government? If this government is not the government of Mahdi, right? then we are going to overthrow the government because nothing is more important than that. So that's the, and that's the, what the government fears that more than yeah. the, the other people, because these, these people who are very religious, they are uh, a lot more influential and they are within the, within the government, you know, they're all over the place. So even though they're probably less than 10%, um they if they are they are the base they are the base of the government so the government is standing it has the all the approval is has is from these religious people and if it loses them then it has no more legs to stand on so they are really afraid of losing these people so they're gonna i think what they're the tactic of the government is now this right so they're gonna remove reduce the enforcement get the religious people angry and then increase it a little bit but not to the point that it was before, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like they're trying to shove it in, but without them. So here's imagine enforcement is at 80. Okay. And then you bring it to 20 and then religious people get like, no, what the hell? And they're like, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. They bring it back to 70. You know what I mean? And then people get angry and like, okay, let's bring it down to 10 and then religious people. So they're it's fine like tuning. They're fine tuning it until like, but it, any miscalculation could make the whole thing go off. Yeah, but if the base, if the base does the barandas, then what comes back is going to be even worse. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, the, um, 
I don't think I don't I don't know because if just because the base is doing the toppling of the government, that doesn't mean that they will have the control over after in the vacuum of power. You know what I mean? Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, definitely what, went an unexpected direction last time. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. So. We should go to the next news. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's like, just the tip who could just go. <laughs> Gross. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.